Yo, cousin, I don't understand why you can't just let something good happen for once in your fucking life. I get it. You have a short man's complex. You can barely reach over this fucking table, right? Is this why you have the tattoos and your cool little scars and you go out and you take your smoke breaks? It's fun, isn't it? But here's the thing. You're terrible at this. You're no good at it. Go faster, motherfucker. Keep going faster. Why are you so slow? Why are you so fucking slow? Why? You think you're so tough? Yeah. Why don't you say this? Say, yes, chef. I'm so tough. Yes, chef. I'm so tough. Say, fucking yes, chef. I'm so tough. Yes, chef. I'm so tough. You are not tough. You are bullshit. You are talentless. Say, fucking hands. Hands! You should be dead. Hands! Hands! Somebody fucking answer me! Hands! Fucking Christ! Hands, please! Please! What are you... Oh, God! Step out. To Marcus and Step I... out. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Marcus. Step out. Get the... Order and... Fuck off my Expo chef now! Get the fuck off! Thank you. We're firing 76 beefs, 34 chickens, okay? 12 french fries, 12 mash. Fucking now. Oh, fucking find them! God fucking damn it, Tina! I don't need to provide amusement or enjoyment. I don't need to receive any amusement or enjoyment. I'm completely fine with that. Because no amount of good is worth how terrible this feels. waste of fucking time and i think that just that flicked this switch in me where i was like okay fuck you watch this and because we had this connection through food and he had made me feel so rejected and lame and shitty and uncool i i made this plan where i was gonna go work in all the best restaurants in the world you know like like i'm gonna go work in real kitchens like fuck mom and dad's piece of shit right And it sounds ridiculous, you know, me saying that now, but that's, that's, that's what I did. And I got the shit kicked out of me. And I separated herbs, and I shucked oysters, and clams, and uni, and I cut myself, and I got garlic, and onions, and peppers, and my fingernails, and in my eyes, and my skin was dry and oily at the same time. I had calluses on my fingers from the knives and my stomach was fucked and it was everything. And a couple years later, this funny thing happened, which is like, for the first time in my life, I, I started to find this, uh, this station for myself. And I was fast, I wasn't afraid. And it was clear, and I, I felt, I felt okay, you know? I knew which vegetables went together, proteins, temperatures, sauces, all that shit. And when somebody new came into the restaurant to stage, I'd look at them like they were a competition, like I'm gonna smoke this motherfucker. I felt like I could speak through the food, like I could communicate through creativity and that kind of confidence, you know? Like I was finally, I was, I was good at something that was so new and that was so exciting and I just wanted him to know that and fuck, I just wanted him to be like, good job. And the more he wouldn't respond and the more our relationship kind of strained the deeper into this I went and the better I got. And the more people I cut out, the quieter my life got. And the routine of the kitchen was so consistent and exacting and busy and hard 
and alive, and I lost track of time, and he died. I think when I was a kid, um, anything that would give me any sort of excitement or, or, or amusement or enjoyment, uh, it always got kind of fucked. Uh, you know, I, I don't think my family meant to ruin it or anything like that. You know, I, I don't think they did it on purpose, but I, I think sometimes they just they try too hard. You know, or they'd make promises that they weren't able to keep. I have to remind myself to breathe sometimes. I um. I have to remind myself to, uh, to be present, you know? Remind myself that the sky is not falling, that um, there is no other shoe, which is incredibly difficult because there's always another shoe. <laughs> I don't know, I think, um, You know, maybe if I could provide more, more, more amusement or, or enjoyment for myself, it would be easier to, uh, to provide for others, you know? I don't know. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm happy to be here. Thank you guys, thanks for letting me share.